Hey guys, this is the Windows Tech Channel, and um, first off, I, I, I'd like to say that I'm sorry that I haven't posted new content in over a year. It, it's just that I have not had anything to publish, nor nor any ideas, especially with all the new computer stuff I've been getting. Like, I should do a separate video on this. But um, today's video is, is actually going to be a, a little bit of an, interest, an, an interesting one. It's um, This involves a Lenovo Idea Center K330B. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can restore one one of these Lenovo um, Idea Centers back to factory defaults if you don't have recovery media for it, but you do have the partition like as a virtual hard disk. And um, at the end of the video, I will be showing you all the system specs because I am going to go ahead and get right down to it. So what you're going to be needing is a compatible K330B, um, any monitor any mouse or just stuff like that. Um, you're going to need, uh, you're going to need uh, two, two CDs. You're going to need a Windows PE disc and a Windows, and a, a Hiram's boot disc. I know, very legit discs. And you're also going to need um, two USB drives. One of which can be any size, but, um, but it needs to have a VHD to disc on it. And you're going to need another, um, and you're also going to need a uh, a 16 gigabyte or more USB drive with uh, with um, the VHD itself, which can be found on the Internet Archive. In fact, I also put the VHD to disk file on on the Internet Archive since it is irritatingly hard to find online anymore. Disk to VHD is not that hard to find. Oh, and um, neat um, and um. Need I also remind you guys that the USB that you are putting the VHD on must be NTFS formatted. All right, so um, I'm going to now get ready to boot into the um, Windows PE environment. So let's get us started. Now, now when I got this PC new, or new to me, I guess. Um, oh, I need to turn on the. I don't know. I almost forgot. <laughs> So, uh, so when I got this PC from my grandparents when they were moving and whatnot, it had the recovery partition, but I couldn't boot to it whatsoever. So, yeah, this, so I tried doing it this way, but I didn't think I got anywhere with it. Plus, um, yeah, so I just ended up doing a, a clean install of um, Windows 7 Ultimate on here until I actually figured it out recently, which we are actually getting right into it it is now loading the files off of the disk and i think the windows pe is only like 200 megabytes or something like that i'll go ahead and connect the um, usb drives all right But on the outside, um, there are two USB ports on the front, alongside a microphone, a, a microphone, a headphone jack, an XD card slot, a CF card slot, which I don't have any compact flash cards, um, an MS Pro drive, and an SD drive. As far as I know, there is no micro SD port on on any PC, on desktop, laptop. That's more that's one of the smaller form factor. All right, so here we are booted into the environment. Has the startnet.cmd. It's running wipe in it, or no, uh, wpe in it. And by the way, um, I will not, um, I will not be leaving a download link to the Windows 7 PE boot C, uh, boot CD maker. That's also easy to find. And Hiram's boot CD, um, you're you're gonna you're gonna want to go with Hiram's boot CD 15. It's the it's the exact same one used to boot into mini Windows XP when needed. All right, so. For my VHD to disk, I have this stored on the H drive. And then just run this command. Oh, what? Hold on. Oh. What? Hold on. Hmm. What? Hold on. 
Hold on. Okay, so it turns out that I had the VHD, um, no, the VHD to disc thing on the E drive on here. So, yeah, so the, so the J drive, no, no, um, H drive, I think, has my VHD. So, so once you're in a VHD to disc, you, um, for the VHD file name, just put, uh, click on the three dots and then just head over to your USB, which again, H drive. And then this, this should be the, this should be the VHD you find. And click open VHD and then target drive for physical drive zero <clears throat> before running the uh, before running the drive loader commands just to find your VHD to disk um, I would recommend running the um, uh, disk part and list disk just to see the biggest file size because the physical drive zero is the C drive I think so just do that and then actually no I, I, guys I almost forgot a step Head back to the X drive. So you're gonna to want to do disk part. This is actually to ensure that no problems go. All right, this is just to make sure you don't incur any um, more issues than this. I apparently did that wrong. Um, do list disk, and then just uh, select disks. Yeah. Select disk zero. And run the clean command. And now, now, okay. Now let's head back here. Just open your VHD as you normally would in Physical Drive Zero, VHD to disk, and then press OK. This should take a while, so. Um, oh, and by the way, um, once I come back, I will, um, I will be explaining something to you guys. Because it's kind of difficult to understand. Okay, now I need to explain this. The can't run on physical drive. It's probably mounted. You need to put it offline for, be, before to be able to write on it. <laughs> Do not worry about this at all. That actually means the entire process is done. So just hit OK. Um, fail to dump the VHD on drive. That does not matter. We actually have the VHD on the drive now. So at this point, you can switch it back to X and then just remove the USB from the PC. And then we're going to change the disk to Hiren's boot CD. And then I'm going to have to do the force shutdown method. So I actually restart my PC. So at this point, go ahead and reboot the PC. Just let it boot from the disc. I actually recommend having the CD as the very first boot option. Just change that in the BIOS if you can. All right, so what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be scrolling down to more. For me, it's gonna be boot HDD one partition four. Enter. And, and, and as you can see, we are, loading, we are loading into the recovery environment. All right, so as you can see with this very nice um, background, we are now in the recovery partition. Um, but apparently my mouse is not working for some reason. <laughs> my mouse is not working, that's, oh, there it is. <laughs> So in here you have um, one key recovery, the driver and application, and system setup. We're gonna we're gonna go into the one key recovery option since we since I clear I cleared the hard drive before I started this video. Well, and then I ran the clean option in here. All right, so it's gonna be restore from initial backup. Like next, if any of you guys restored a um, Lenovo Windows 10 PC. With the one, uh, with the one, re with the one key recovery, or anything, um, or anything on the likes of it, this process will be very familiar to you. Click on start, and click yes, and yes again, and well, the recovery will now start. So, um, I don't recommend 
um, removing the boot CD yet, since um, since it may cause problems. But um, just go ahead and let it do its thing, and I'll be back with you guys um, at another time. And as you can see, it's gonna take a while. So yeah, just go ahead and let it do its thing, and um, I'll be back with you guys much later. Alright, so it's been a few hours since the last, um, bit was recorded, and I apologize about that, um, so, right now we are at a system restoration complete. At this time, you can go ahead and remove Hyren's boot CD from the drive. Then we're just gonna go ahead and, okay, right, done, and we're gonna reboot. Um... You can shut down the PC now if you were giving this PC away to someone. Alright, so now it's starting Windows, and it's going in, and, it, and it is now going to do its first boot procedure. Alright, it is doing the whole setup, it's preparing a computer for first use. And checking video performance. This is basically just like the um, OOBE of the R the RTM Windows Seven. All right, so here we are. The out of box experience. Now it may not look like much. It may just look like a stock um, Windows Seven OOBE, but um, there's but there's gonna be one thing that sets it apart like pretty soon. So here we got the country or region. Um, I'm, I'm going to go in and leave it as default. Then just type a username. Good one, All right, I'm not gonna bother with a password. All right, yeah, it has the Lenovo license agreements. So yes, Windows 7 Home Premium Service Pack 1. All right, so just go ahead and accept the EULAs, and then go ahead and um, adjust your system clock if you so need to. And then finalizing your settings. It would normally ask you about network and whatnot, but um, my, my PC actually needs this, this Wi-Fi N802.11N USB, um, USB thumb drive with a um with an appropriate CD for the drivers to be installed for Wi-Fi to be used on this PC I'm preparing a desktop and as I promised I will be showing you um I, I will be showing you guys the uh, system specs Alright, so McAfee, we don't need that. Yeah, that's bloatware. So it comes to McAfee for some weird reason. Yes, and it and yes, this is a default wallpaper. And it does install the PC the, the uh, Best Buy PC app for some reason. Or another. Alright, properties. Okay, so we already established this has um a 64-bit Windows 7 home premium installation. System may not available. And then, yes, it has six gigabytes of RAM, an Intel Pentium uh, CPU G G630 clocked at 2.7 gigahertz. And there is no pen or touch input because, yes, we don't have any of that. <laughs> and I don't have sound because I don't have speakers um, hooked up to this PC. I do have speakers, but I don't have them with me right now. I mean, I do have them, but I just don't have them plugged up. All right, so I will also I will also explore um, device management or devices and printers. Yeah, so yeah, I do need to install drivers for that. Yeah, so it's a Microsoft Nano transceiver as a um, keyboard. 
So, so device manager. Um, this will actually show you a little bit more. This it does have an Intel um 825 um. All right, all right, so this does have a um, gigabit network connection driver, but I don't think this actually like works. Like I'll try to update device software. Yep, yeah. some reason. Um, monitors, it's generic PMP, but this is actually a um, OptiQuest Q9. Yeah, for the IDE, we have a uh, Intel 6 series uh, C C200 series chipset family six and whatnot. The HID, we have a bunch of HIDs and whatnot. DVD ROM drive is just a HLDTSC DVD RAM, so it's just an ATA display adapter is basically just Intel. Uh, disk drives you can see here it's a ST310. Oh, actually this this is a one terabyte hard drive. And processors we already um, went through that. Um, we do have Intel audio and a real tech, real, real tech high definition audio, but none of these are integrated, so you do need speakers for it to actually work. And we do have USB drivers and all the system devices. Yes, Microsoft Virtual Drive, enumerator drive, just so you can have the 64-bit um, option when doing a virtual machine on this PC. All right, so with that said, uh, we're done. So... Enjoy your PC and whatnot, and thank you guys for watching.